are all in the cybersecurity information security and fraud mitigation game. What are some of the trends that you're seeing? So what we are seeing is uh, this term called business email compromise, right? And so we we see, uh, so you know, we we specialize in email security and phishing, right? So normal phishing attacks have a link or a, or an attachment in there, but these business email compromises are really just a conversation. And over the, you know, in the past, these were known as maybe 419 scams. It was the the print, the Nigerian prince, right, looking to like get you to, you know, spend their inheritance or help you, you know, trying to get you to give them some money. Well, they've transitioned now into um, how can, you know, attacking, going after businesses to be able to get that um, money, right? To, at the end of the day, they're after uh, finances. And so what we see is them asking for different types of transactions. And um, sometimes they can curate these romance scams victims into helping move their money around, right? Because they can't just ask for money to be sent to them because of all the great things that the banking system has put in place, right, to detect these um, fraud, fraudulent accounts. And so they, they curate these relationships so that they can get these uh, romance victims to then be the ones to that are moving the money for them to be able to get it back to them. Yes, and in financial sector operations, it's called being a money mule. Yeah. So they're romancing them in order to get them to make the transactions right. for them. And you're right, uh, banking has put in so many um, you know, detectors, red flags, initiators, the employees are trained right. to identify this type of fraud. Yeah, and when so. they initially started, they were asking for them to wire money, right? And mm -hmm. so those were very big red flags. And then because um, one of our researchers, he, way back when this started in 2015 is really where this really started to, to really escalate, um, he worked with the financial sector with their fraud teams to be able to, um, they would hand over bank accounts and say, hey, this is an, here's another account. Um, that they would then stop that money and sometimes get that money back for the organization that was maybe out that money, you know, that actually wired the money. Um, so that's why they've moved away from just asking for money directly. Um, so that way they can um, still get those funds and other, other means of getting, getting those funds.